But two teams of my coworkers were recognized for some amazing work. Now, if you were watching on Monday, you saw that Maury Frieslaven, excuse me, was invited to the Today Show to talk about the Love Them First documentary, her work with students in North Minneapolis, and working with the uh, Care 11 team on the stories that led up to the film. Now, her appearance and visit to New York corresponded with an award ceremony for the Alfred DuPont Columbia University Awards, which it won. Also recognized, Care 11 investigates for their ongoing work on veterans issues, especially the administration's systematic denial of promised benefits to our U.S. servicemen and women. So earlier today, Julie Nelson sat down with our investigative team to share what this reporting award means to them. First of all, AJ and Steve, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. We are so proud you're part of our team. You guys do such excellent work and we loved seeing you recognized in New York the other night. This reporting in particular has really uh, been ongoing and in the award judges words, you won for ongoing groundbreaking reporting that uncovered VA lax treatment of vets. And this is something you've been working on a long time. When did you start reporting on veterans affairs? Our very first two stories here at CARE 11 when Steve and I launched the investigative unit going on six years ago involved mm -hmm. veterans and to some extent veterans affairs and it's just continued to go since then. Every individual story takes a little different time mm -hmm. but it's been a five, five and a half year project, ongoing project. And every story that you report, you gain the trust and maybe the attention of another veteran. So oftentimes those lead to more tips, right, Steve? And insiders mm -hmm. who bring us information. That's that really what's been key, yeah. Is, and by insider, explain what you mean, AJ. We mean whistleblowers. We mean people who see wrongdoing, very often have reported it up the food chain, get no action, and then they're turning to us from around the country um, with documents and proof of, of wrongdoing that's impacting uh, veterans in various ways. So one of the stories you reported this year that contributed to winning this prestigious award was about refunds not giving, being given to veterans on home loans. Let's take a quick listen to a portion of that story. To them. Michael Missel is the VA's Inspector General. They knew they were holding money that belonged to veterans but never told them? Correct. Why didn't VA leaders address this? We asked them that question and they said it wasn't a priority for them. It became a priority after CARE 11 began asking questions and Missile's office issued a scathing report concluding veterans may have suffered significant financial losses. This was a nationwide problem. Nationwide problem that's resulting in $400 million going back to veterans. Uh, that was being withheld secretly. And this was a result of an insider, or insiders plural, coming to you and saying, this is happening, this is going on right now. This is going on, it's eating at us, it's not right, and no one's doing anything to fix it. What can you do? And they had documents to prove it. And that's key. That's key. That's always key with these, with these cases. Very rewarding for those veterans, I know for both of you, and I would be remiss if I didn't bring up Frank Sherman. Not yeah. only have you saved veterans money, but you've literally saved at least one veteran's life. Tell me a little bit about Frank Sherman. Frank's an amazing man, Native American, Minnesotan, lives up on the reservation in northern Minnesota. And he and an advocate who had been trying to help him for years reached out and said, something just is not right here. This man's being denied a kidney transplant that he needs to survive. And the reasons just don't make sense and no one will listen. CARE 11 dug through Frank's VA test records. What we found raised serious questions about their accuracy and fairness, including these notes. Patient performance was scored on Caucasian norms due to the lack of Native American norms available, and cross-cultural factors may have contributed to suppressed performance. But they denied him anyway. What does that say to you? It says it's a biased system. Well, that seems to be the theme with these veterans. They had issues, they had questions, and it just didn't seem like anyone would listen until the investigative unit here at CARE got involved. I think what's really key with this is there was a lot of government pushback. If we'd have just listened to the official narrative, mm -hmm. there's no problem here. What but did they say when you first contacted our them? Our reporting was going to be false, offensive, and inflammatory, wow. and that was before it even aired. But it did air. It did. And what it ended up happening? They did an about face. They gave Frank new tests and ultimately approved him for a transplant. So awards are nice, but that has to be 
that's what makes you go home and sleep well at night. Well, we're so proud of you and the work you do. We know you're staying on the beat and I uh, have a lot of great stuff coming up in February. Thanks so much, Steve Eckert, AJ Legault for your great work and congrats again. Thank you Thank so much. You. And a big shout out to Gary Knox, the award-winning photojournalist who also worked on those stories with those two men. We're really proud of all of you. Well, we'd like to see more, if you'd like to see more of the investigative team's work, there is a whole section on our website. Just head to care11.com slash veterans.